Yo, what is going on guys? Today we're taking a first look at the International Pace Star 5600 TS. This is coming with Phase 3 and it is going to be a DLC truck as part of uh, Phase 3. So you see some pass holders are going to get this. Unfortunately, uh, the public test server is a little buggy right now until my actual main save file does not work with the public test server. So I had to download someone else's um, that wasn't 100% complete to be able to load into the game. So we don't have all the upgrades. We're missing the raised suspension, and you'll see that later on. But we're going to take it to the torture test and see how it handles and everything else from A to Z. Give you guys a first look at this. Um, before we jump in, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a like on the video. And make sure you hit that sub button. Really appreciate the support. Let's jump into it. Yo, what is going on, everyone? Yeah, we get to... We get to take this look at the International Pace Star 5600 TS. I'm super excited for this. Um, we got two engine options here. We're going to, or three, but we have the third one locked. So we're going to take the Westline V16 M2300. Um, we have a balance gearbox now, but we could put in a fine tune, which is a new one. High range or off road. Unfortunately, I don't have those unlocked on the save that I have to use. The reason being is that public test server is super buggy. There is a race suspension as well. Looks like we have a few of the tires unlocked. Um, I'm actually going to throw on the all chains here. Actually, no, we're going to put on the 50 MHS3 winch. We're going to take the twin motor he or advanced heavy. Unlocked diff intake or yeah, can't put on the all wheel drive yet. The log carrier front, something I've been looking forward to. Um, look at this fuel tank, 2,800 liters of fuel, super long fuel tank. And of course, uh, we do have, we can put the loading crane on here. I did not understand that at first. And this is an LP4 log loader crane. Um, front side, let's put on angled with beacons. Rooftop, let's go ahead and add the, lar the roof fog lights. Front bumper, we got some different options. This is a new one and that's pretty cool have an air conditioner of course factory parking lights triple horns there we go exhaust let's go with the out rolled rims we got two rim choices and we got you know just some various color choices here um, I like that classic blue so we're gonna pull it out and take a look and we're gonna put it through the torture test although we don't have all of the upgrades for it so just hang tight so one of the first things I absolutely love about this truck is going to be the interior and the mirrors so that's two things i know it has a super long wheelbase it's actually a little bit harder for turns and everything than i thought it was going to be um now with phase three for snowrunner we have some logging contracts coming to the existing regions and we also have them coming to the new wisconsin region which we're going to take a look at together a little later um, with that said now we have uh, basically the log crane, a log pole as part of my deck, and another log pole trailer that you can see is connected so that we can load up the logs for the logging contracts and, uh, you know, get them done. Um, as you can tell, the wheelbase on this truck is very long. The fuel tank add-on, for example, is extremely long. It's actually 2,800 liters, which brings a whole lot of capacity. We do have 50-inch mud tires on. Unfortunately, because we did not have the, uh, full save, my main save that's 100% completed, it wouldn't load into the public test server. We actually don't have the third engine, we don't have the snow runner or the new fine-tuned transmission gearbox, and we also don't have uh, the lift kit, or we don't have the third engine as well, the second west line. But overall, this still sounds pretty cool. Now, I got a good feeling this isn't, probably isn't going to make it through the torture test. We'll be able to put it in a low, but... You know, it is a heavy truck, um, but mm, it looks good. I will say that. This has been one of the trucks I've been most excited for, and I know everyone's excited to see logging back, coming from Mud Runner, going into Snow Runner. It's a very exciting time, um, and I'm super excited to get into that myself once it's available. It's going to be a lot of fun doing those new contracts that are coming to the existing regions, but also get into these contracts on the new regions as well. Now one thing I want to note is that the light system between the bumper and the roof rack is a little different and I love it. It just suits this truck so well. 
So we're in a low, and like I said, I don't expect us to be able to get through all the way. Um, before we dump into the, the mud pit, I want to actually take a look at the crane that we have. So you do have the anchor, and that is cool. The uh, I really did not expect that to happen. So you have the grabber, and you have a separate UI for the grabber, but on top of all of that, it also loads uh, the cab for the log crane. It like lifts it up and everything, and that is pretty cool to see. Let's restore the crane, and the anchor gets restored in the process, which is awesome. You can see here not having the diff lock and not having the all-wheel drive. Uh, <laughs> We just don't have the power that we wish we did. It is gonna drag because these tires are not locked. It's not all wheel drive. It is cool to see that all three rear axles do get power to the wheels though. I honestly did not expect that originally when I saw this truck and decided that we were gonna use it. Surprisingly, we're still pushing through okay. I mean, we do have dead weight technically because of the fact that we don't have all-wheel drive, but if we make it through this, I'm going to be very, very surprised. But it's not looking good. It would be interesting grabbing some logs at some point. Um, very, actually, very interesting in my opinion grabbing some logs at some point and seeing how this handles with some weight when we have all the upgrades on. Hopefully they'll be able to get that fixed in the public test server sooner rather than later. Let's see if we're able to back up at all. Let's winch. Fortunately this trailer's super light so when you go to winch to it, it uh, yeah, it kicks you pretty quick. Now having the long wheelbase that we have doesn't make it any easier either as you can tell. this So I think that this is going to bring a whole lot of new functionality um, to SnowRunner in general, but you know, it does remind me of the big Western Star Twin Steer Heavy. Let's see if we can get back just a little bit more. There we go. All right, let's see if we can go through the easier side without getting stuck. Um, actually, you know what we're gonna do? Guys, this should be a little bit easier anyways. We're gonna c turn around and come out here and uh, go all the way through, back to the garage, basically, rather than go through the torture test as we don't have the all-wheel drive we really desperately need. Which I, I think we're going to be okay in a little bit of mud, but not this kind of mud. That is for sure. Actually, I mean, we've made it this far in this kind of mud to begin with, so... Not having the, not having the third engine upgrade is probably helping me at this point. See if we can cut this wheelbase. I wish they'd add like some CB radio functionality or something as well. Having that CB radio in there is just a little bit of a tease. We might have dug ourselves a little too deep actually. Try winching a little bit. And again, the turning radius is not fantastic on this truck, obviously, which I'm not gonna say it makes things really hard, but it doesn't make things easier by any means. One thing I'm excited to see though is that our log truck, or our log trailer, is a little bit higher off the ground, which I think is going to be a huge benefit to us as we dive a little bit more into some of these contracts and a little bit more treacherous roads. So we're struggling here, but we're still making it. 
I cannot wait to see what this thing does with all-wheel drive or diff clock. That'll be pretty crazy to see. And you can see the mirrors there. Although the turning radius sucks, it is not that bad um, pulling trailers with it. So we had to drop down to first gear and now we're just, we're not high center, but obviously the wheel base and where the axles are touching right now is going to make this a little difficult to get over, but we're wiggling through. It's all part of the game, right? Put it in a low till we get past this little hurdle. There we go. And now put it in a automatic. It also appears that there's some texturing and lighting updates as well, which I think is helping quite a bit. Well, to be honest with you guys, I don't think we're going to make it any further than this. So I'm going to have to call the bore in, which you're going to get to see in the next video. So make sure you drop a thumbs up on this video and subscribe. Comment below and let me know what you're most excited for, the logging or these new trucks. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys.